The clock struck noon and within minutes we had 60 to 70 people here in the shadow of City Hall, the Virginia Beach location of the March for Our Lives. Now organizers tell me they picked this spot because it's easy to get to. They've had protests here before, but it did not go unnoticed that just feet away sits Building 2, where three years ago 12 people were shot and killed. I think it does uh, kind of drive home the point just a, a little bit more. Neil Smith, founder of political organization Catalyst for Change, put together the event. He was quickly joined Saturday afternoon by dozens of others, including people who said they were teachers, students, and veterans. Many were holding signs, and several people spoke out against gun violence and in favor of gun control measures. One woman said she and her son attended the original March for Our Lives four years ago, but felt nothing had changed. A nearby voice could be heard yelling, guns save lives at one point, echoing an opinion many have shared in recent weeks. Here's what Smith said in response. Oh, they do, but they also kill a lot of people. Right? Guns didn't save lives in Uvalde. Guns didn't save lives in Buffalo. Key word is common sense gun legislation and responsible gun ownership. It's not about taking away guns, it's about ensuring that we educate people on guns. Now there was some confusion about whether this event would even happen with something similar scheduled at one point in Norfolk. But Smith says he's happy with the turnout despite that confusion. Now I asked Smith, you know, a question that a lot of folks are asking right now, what about the mental health component in all of these incidents? And he tells me that for him and this crowd here behind me, it doesn't have to be just guns or mental health. He says both need to be addressed. Here in Virginia Beach, Anthony Sabella, News 3.